Hello and welcome to another Brick Digest, where I'm doing my best to work my way through the large pile of sets behind me. Tonight I've decided to take a look at this one. This is Carbon Freezing Chamber. Uh, it's another one of the Star Wars sets. It is set 75137. It's got 231 pieces and uh, retails in the UK for $19.99 uh, and in the US for I think around $25. That makes it about 8.5 pence per piece in the UK and I think a little over 10 cents in the US. Uh, this is obviously based on the scene from The Empire Strikes Back where Boba Fett finally catches up with Han Solo and brings him to Darth Vader who of course then freezes him in carbonite for then delivery off to Jabba the Hutt. It certainly looks like an interesting little set so with that in mind let's start building. And I am done and here is the completed set. So I think overall this is actually quite a nice little set although I will follow up on the fact that it's quite little in a minute. Uh, it comes with uh, three minifigures uh, so you get uh, Boba Fett uh, with a little cape, jetpack, uh, his little antenna here on his helmet and quite a large gun. Uh, you get this character here who is the one who actually controls the machine who freezes Han Solo and Carbonite which according to the box is an Ugnaught uh, which to be honest I would have had no idea but I'm sure that's a good Star Wars Trivial Pursuit question. Uh, you also get Han Solo who I actually have in the carbon freezing chamber. So this is Han Solo looking a little distressed with his brown trousers and his white shirt. Uh, and then you actually get the the, the carbon, uh, you actually get Han Solo frozen in carbonate as well, which is this piece here. The actual model, like I say, is quite small. Uh, it has the steps going up uh, to the carbon freezing chamber itself. It has a lift over here that can move up and down and the carbon freezing chamber itself can actually move. So if you pull out this piece here, you can then actually turn it round, which means you can put Han Solo minifigure on one side, pull this, spin it round and then have him come back up again frozen in carbonate. Of course, all of the, the dry uh, the dry ice to make the smoke effect come off this, make it look totally realistic, is not included within the box. My biggest problem with this is actually that it is quite a small model. The details are very good with the lights down the steps, uh, all these little antennas and orange pieces throughout, all do a good job of representing what the thing looked like in the film. But in the film this was surrounded by an awful lot of dry ice and a much larger structure that sat on top and then of course it was part of a much larger room. It seems like this is a set that was designed to meet that £20, $25 budget uh, and is probably just a small part of what I can almost imagine at one point was a much larger Lego model and for whatever reason they've decided that this is the part they wanted to release and I think that's quite disappointing. It would have been nicer to see this as a much bigger diorama from the actual film itself. From a playset point of view the three minifigures are obviously quite good all of them are very detailed uh, and it is I'm sure going to be a lot of fun for Noah to put other minifigs into the carbon freezing chamber and imagine they're being frozen although of course all of them will look like Han Solo I don't think that will bother him too much there's also lots of places for minifigs to stand there's the computer system over here for the minifigs to play with and there's various other little bits that fold out with some little ramps that drop down as well all of which mean that there's a lot going on here for the £19.99 price, it's actually not too bad, £8.7 per piece is actually quite low as some of the Star Wars sets go, so if there's a small Star Wars fan in your life, then they're probably going to enjoy this quite a lot. 
But that's enough for us. If you would like to buy this set, then you can find a link down below over to Amazon. Clicking that, we will of course get a small cut and that will continue to help us out to do these videos and work our way through to add even more sets to the wall behind us. Until next time, please do subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. My name's Richard, this is Brick Digest, goodbye.